Kova for the uh, Thai player. Supernida Katatong over Chen Yufei. Hei Bing Zhao with a solid 42 minute win over Bei Wan Zhang. And then the Korean pair of Kim and Jong dismissed Yamashita and Shinoya in 49 minutes. That was followed by the Malaysian pair with a very strong showing from Pearly Tan and Tina against Iwanaga and Nakanishi. And we just saw Aaron Chan and So Yik in commanding form over their compatriots Ong Yu Sin and Tio Yi Yi. 31 minutes is all it took. Up next, the world number one world champion and Olympic champion Victor Axelsson in an all Danish affair against Rasmus Gemke. This is the draw for the men's singles. And as you can see, winner of this match will play either Jonathan Christie or Chao Tian Chen. Anthony Sinisuka Genting on the other side, as you can see, he's already booked his place in the semi-finals. A convincing win over Li Shi Feng earlier today. And Lo Ken Yu and Kunlovit Vitisan fighting out for that other berth in the semi-finals. All these fans out here at the KD Jalav Indoor Hall. Ready now for the players to come out to the arena. And here he is, the undisputed unprecedented number one in world badminton now Victor Axelsson has been so solid over 2022 if I started reeling off his achievements now I can tell you we wouldn't have time before the match started and his opponent today in this all Danish quarterfinal So world number 20, Rasmus Gemke, on a very good run. And of course, this does just as was the case in the men's doubles that we saw just now, ensures a Danish player in the semi-finals. A lot of you are thinking that's bound to be Victor, Ax Victor Axelsson, and you wouldn't be wrong based on his achievements. But let's just see how both these Danes play against each other in this quarterfinal. Ready for the coin toss. Good luck. Yep, good luck. And, well, that's a pretty commanding stat there, head to head. Axelsson, five, Red, nothing up. Black. Red is the call, you on the dot. This side. Will you serve or receive? I would like to serve. Serve. So, with those allocations of service and court side picked, it's going to be a treat, I tell you, for all these fans here to watch the world number one play. Uh, as I said, there's no time to go through all of his <laughs> achievements. But let's just suffice it to say he's a double Olympic medalist, of course. Well, I think before we get to them, let's have a look at his opponent, Rasmus Gemka. 26 years old now. The world number 20, down from 10. He was out in the first round last week at the Malaysia Open, but he did have a pretty good 2022, second in the French Open, quarter final, the Indonesian Open. And of course, let's not forget the 2019 European Championships mixed team gold medal. And that was his road here. Kento Momota, first of all, 49 minutes. And that was, of course, kind of expected with the form of Momota recently. But Lakshya Sen, 81 minutes. That was a huge match. And he really put the nail in the coffin for Indian players in the quarterfinals. As I said, Victor Axelsson, double Olympic medalist, 29 years old now, but he really has, in the years that he's been playing, worked his way up to 
world number one. For a long time, he was the promising player that would take on the likes of Lee Chong Wei and Lin Dan in their heydays. But of course, as they retired, he has just ruled the roost. Double world champion 2017, 2022, obviously Thomas Cup winner as well. This was his road to this quarterfinal. Another Indian player, Kidambi, in 41 minutes. And then Shuyu Chi, that was a hard match for him. He actually dropped a game, which is very rare for him these days. 63 Ready to minutes. Play. That could, of course, be down to the fact that he's already picked up a title this year in Malaysia. As we look at the umpire, D. Washnawan. In the service judge chair, CR Rajiv. As I was saying, Axelson had a great run in Malaysia last week. On final Sunday, it was all about the wall number ones picking up titles in all the disciplines. And maybe a little bit of fatigue for him. He was quoted this week actually as saying that it's a very strange situation for any player to come from the humid, hot climbs of Malaysia immediately to a much cooler and drier climate up here in India, northern India. Affects, of course, the speed of play, affects the flight of the shuttle, but more importantly, if you've just put in a good week's worth of work against some really top players in Malaysia, then I think you can be expected to drop a game in this, the second tournament for the HSBC. Game to unpack. But let's see now. The overwhelming favourite, of course, simply because he is. Ladies Axelson. and gentlemen, on my right, Rasmus Gemke, Denmark. And on my left, Victor Axelson, Denmark. Now I can tell you that the cheers that you're hearing because we have the unique situation of having Rasmus two men's semi-finals playing right now and it's actually Kunlovit Vidisan has taken the first game against Lo Kim Yu in the other court I'll keep you updated with what happens there that of course on the other side of the draw such a solid output from Victor Axelsen these days in so attack, in defence, in his movement low and more often than not he can play out these rallies and force mistakes or weak returns well, that was close it was very close well Low. And I think to all the badminton fans watching that have seen him grow from teenage up to 29 now, the last 10 years, they've seen how much he's improved his game. He's constantly working to improve his game. And at 29, well, he's still got a good few years, you could think. Rasmus Gimke challenges called out well a challenge from Gemkin based on that replay he'll be lucky Here it is. And as I said, he would have been very lucky. Challenge if unsuccessful. In. One challenge remaining. So three love. Three low play. And that's a chance for him. Service over. One three. 
various theories flying around the men's singles circuit as to how you should approach any game against Victor, Victor Axelsen. his height very well he can Two, three. basically make a stand mid-court as he did just then and just reach over and keep these rallies going looking for that winning opportunity and I think of those theories as to how to beat him probably the most successful if it's happened is to really speed up the tempo of the game and try and disrupt him from his rhythm if you can Three, all. And that was a good point for Gemke to win. Ties it up, three apiece. That's a great cross court from Atkinson. Right in his hitting zone. Service so over. Four, three. Rasmus is going to have to watch that. Try and play it behind him. Really flat on the net to the forecourt. <laughs> Interesting to note, of course, their last meeting no Axelsson has a 5 nothing head-to-head -head lead three. it was a three-game match in Malaysia last week of errors at the moment six axis has made three. very few and he's capitalizing on some of these weaker returns point for Gemka. Four, six. And Axelsson out on the floor. Fired it just behind him. Rally, solid five, rally. six. You don't find many winning spots on that court when Axelson is moving around it, and he managed to find a good winner on the right side.
tied it up. Six all. Seven, Quick little six. trade off of the net. Looks out. Jenkins way. And this is encouraging from him. In. It's in that territory Starting of a over. challenge, but Seven he doesn't. On. He's right above it, had a very good view of it. Seven all. from Gemke just before that shot off the ground. Blinded. Thank you. Absolutely pinpoint cross court from Axelson. Rathmore's game get challenges called in. That again looked in. Important point to challenge, you can argue, at 8 7. Absolutely right in the middle of that line. Challenge unsuccessful, no challengers remaining, 9-7. Well, we don't usually see this play. players, they like to keep their challenges at least, well, at least half the game. And he's going to have to play the rest of this game with, without that option. 10-7. Remember, when you're playing the wall number one, most of your points are going to be very close and challengeable. Was happening 11, behind that came seven, in. So at the mid game interval, Victor Axelson 11 7 up. Wipe the court, please. Call two, 20 seconds. Call two, 20 seconds. Access it. This is the shot lock. 11 7. So, men's singles quarter final Play. here at the Onyx Sunrise in the Open 2023. And Victor Axelson already 11 7 up against his compatriot, Rasmus Gemke. But has to be said, Rasmus has been playing a pretty solid game against the world number one. And it's a 
and a combination of 12, accuracy seven. and very few mistakes from Axelsen that has led to him being five points ahead. More mistakes coming from Gemke's side of the court for sure. That one is unforced. movement had him on the floor again and just as we saw earlier in the game takes advantage of it well and kills it thank you almost to the body while he's on the floor guaranteed point got to serve back here and what would be ideal for him is if he could pick up a couple of points at least here and just reset the second half of his first game Service over, 14, 8. Delicate net exchange that falls the way of the world number one. Fifteen, eight. Oh, he's got to, if he okay. can, try and pull in some of these mistakes. That's quite a fall for Gemke. And great to see Victor Axelsen immediately over there. He landed very badly on that foot. That is quite a serious injury. team over to have a look Just holding his face looks to be in a lot of pain wow this is a shame as this game was really building into something Back up. Well, it was strange to see. It looked like he pulled up onto the foot. But now that he's on the floor, it might be lower back, possibly. Or a muscle pull in the leg. Either way, he's definitely in pain and it's a great concern. Accident. Once again, top marks to Victor Axelsen for immediately stopping play. And it does look like that is a full retirement. There's even a wheelchair out there Rest for him. Game get retired. Match won by Victor Axelsen. 16-8. So 16-8 and a retirement in the end. But really, it's not about the result anymore. I think everybody watching is just going to hope that Rasmus Gemke is in good enough shape. He's being helped into that wheelchair. 
and looking still in pain. So a round of applause for him from everybody around. We kate each other indoor hall and rightly so. What a shame for him. What a shame, of course, for the whole Danish contingent. And that's confirmation of that. 16-8, the only points played. 